I've never been out on a failed Bigfoot expedition because they don't let me. It's failed as far as getting one. On, I see. Actually, it's not failed because every single video I take has timestamps. Just about. And even when I'm not trying, like, ooh, there's a, that is crazy. Did you guys see that? I did not see that deer. Is he following me? I just happened to zoom in on that and a deer walked by. What are the chances of that? He's by himself and he's following me. I'm, I'm watching him right now. You probably can't see him. Hold on. I'm not going to zoom unless he stops. He's moving too fast. Okay, so he, he's on my same path I walked on. He's up here and he's going to circle me. And if I see him right there and he looks at me, I'm really suspicious of that. I filmed another deer recently and got all these incredible, I'm talking really good, you guys, timestamps, with a deer staring at me. They were all to the left of them. You know, something's up with the, with the mule deer here and them. Why is a deer tracking me? That is nuts. Unless, for some reason, he saw me put food down last time and wants more? I don't know. That deer was right on my path which is highly unusual, you guys. Usually, they, they do not follow people. It could be a freak incident, like he wasn't following me, but I don't think so. That's the same deer that I was filming earlier, and all of a sudden, he's behind me? You guys saw that I zoomed for a Bigfoot, and a deer ran by. Oh my goodness. I told you, it's always something new out here. There's always some, even if that had nothing to do with Bigfoot, that is, that's, that was pretty cool, that's exciting. like that. Oh my god, it's right next to me. I'm freaking out. He's doing that. What is going on, you guys? I got a deer following me. He should, believe it or not, he's right there through those on the other side of those bushes. He just stopped. He's right there. I can see his leg. And then all of a sudden I start getting low tone whistles. Usually, usually they go, but today it's going, maybe he can't whistle. I, th I think that's possible. I think certain ones, just like us, like, you know, some people can call their dog, they're like, they take their two fingers, like their thumb, they go, like so loud with their teeth. But most of us can't do that, you know? And maybe, maybe they're like that too. I, I hope that's on camera because I just got two whistles and that's why I'm aiming the camera because it could be center. And those are really close, you guys really close, like right on the other side of those trees. Like not those back there, but like right here. Oop, tree knock. I gotta go up that way. I was going down, but I'm going up. There's something going on up here. I am not kidding. And go figure, it's, it's happening right on this stuff. Like why isn't it happening on that tree? It's happening on one of their structures. footprint. So blatant right there. Right there. I can feel, you guys, through your boot, you can feel the contour of his feet. Like, you can feel the arch. You can feel everything. Because it's been pressed down so hard. Just now, something's whistling at me from right here with a deer that's shadowing me. There's no way that deer went up here Okay, because right here, you can see it starts going up right, right hill, uphill right there. And right up there, it becomes a rock face. He, even a deer can't climb up. So why would he be following me? And why did he stop and stand right next to a bend? So right there, I know exactly to zoom in right there, just because of those two. Those, I'm not saying I'm going to get a face, but you know, that's where you'll get one. 
actually, you know, there's going to be some abnormality, some two leaners. There's going to be something strange about it. Did you guys see what I did for, you know, 50 years of talking about the Patterson Gilman film? No one ever circled the structures or noticed them. Ever. <laughs> you know, and if you look, I took it down yesterday, but if you look at the pat my, my pictures, you'll see. I clearly, everyone's worried about whether Patty's real or not. And trust me, I already knew it was real, but there's the structures. You're never going to get a real picture of a Bigfoot without structures nearby. It's like the structures project them there or something. It, it has something, there's something very important about them. And then they all, they, they all are just surrounded by, and I'm guessing they've had to move out of that spot because these, these guys don't leave their areas as far as I can tell. But I'm thinking that might have been a little different because even this day today, people are checking that spot. So I'm sure they've probably moved on. What is that? Please don't make me walk all the way over there. What is that up there, you guys? It's like way up on the hill. Some kind of teepee? Star teepee? That's uh, 300 yards from here. Bizarre. Looks like it's all Aspen made too. Deer is freaking me out, man. He's, he's still looking at me. Let me see if I can get him on film. He's behind. I don't see him now. He's right there, though. I could, I could run up and scare him out. He's right. He's following me. I'm not even kidding. So you see the bend? He's right behind that clump of stuff. There's those two trees, right? Those two big trees. He's right behind there. Staring at me. I sure hope it has nothing to do with the Bigfoots and the deer because I'm going to have a hell of a time explaining that to anybody. <laughs> you got to be in here and experience that to like... I'm not even saying there is. Look at this in here. Whistles from right here. I hope it's on camera. It's going... Even with some air like that. Right here. I'm telling you, it was like right here. Right here. I just heard something like that. Alright, I'm freaking out too much over.